The earth is littered with ancient ruins, built by human hands deep within our forgotten past. Although some of these ruins do have detailed histories and backstories, many are complete mysteries that continue to baffle archaeologists and haunt our imaginations. Who built these structures? When were they made? What purpose did they serve? And how many other ruins are still hidden away, just waiting to be discovered? Here are my choices for five mysterious ancient ruins that remain unexplained. Number 5. Gunung Padang First discovered in 1914, the megalithic site at Gunung Padang in Indonesia was first thought to be a natural hill upon which are scattered the ruins of a 2,500-year-old structure. It was an impressive find, and was believed to be the largest megalithic site in all of Southeast Asia. The hill is covered with heavy rectangular volcanic stones, which are thought to have been brought to the hill by the ancient people who inhabited the area, and were used as building blocks to construct a temple, observatory, or some other structure. Exactly what was built here remains unknown, but the mystery is far deeper than the purpose of the stones which scatter the hill's surface. In 2010, a geologist observing the hill proposed the theory that the hill itself may actually be a buried man-made pyramid, which has remained hidden under the current site for thousands of years and could be the reason why the visible 2,500-year-old structure was built in the first place, as the site was considered to be sacred. He began exploring the site using ground-penetrating radar, deep-core drilling, and a whole host of other techniques, the results of which, if true, would force us to rethink everything we thought we knew about the course of human history. Samples taken from 13 feet below the surface were dated at up to 12,500 years old, with samples discovered further down at 50 feet below the surface, dated at up to 23,000 years old, with radar scans revealing the possible presence of a large, buried structure containing several chambers. The entire site is much larger than initially thought, covering up to 60 acres, and scientists have discovered that much of the buried structure is reinforced with stones held together by a type of ancient cement, suggesting a high level of sophistication in the building process. If these results are true, it seems as if a man-made pyramid is indeed buried deep within the site, and could have been built upon over the course of thousands of years by several different cultures as far back as 23,000 years ago, 18,000 years before the construction of the Egyptian pyramids, making it by far the oldest known man-made structure and providing the first clear evidence of a forgotten prehistory civilization. Such dates would place its construction as during the last ice age, a time when ocean levels were far lower than they are today, and the islands that make up modern-day Indonesia could have been part of a much larger landmass, the majority of which today is covered by water. If this were the case, who knows what other ancient ruins might be hidden underneath the waves. These seemingly impossible findings are not without critics. Many scientists believe that the hill is just the neck of an ancient volcano, and most definitely not man-made. Evidence of primitive tools have also been found nearby, which match the date the pyramid was supposedly built, however these are certainly not the tools of an advanced civilization capable of building pyramids. The carbon dating methods have also been attacked as being unreliable, and some believe that the ancient cement which was unearthed is in fact just a natural byproduct of weathering. Could this site really be evidence of an ancient prehistoric civilization? or are questionable findings being overhyped in a bid to boost tourism and gain publicity. Until further excavation is carried out, the mystery will continue to persist and divide. Number 4. Baalbek The ancient site of Baalbek in modern-day Lebanon is home to one of the most mysterious and hotly debated structures on the planet. The impressive Temple of Jupiter was built by the invading Romans, who after taking control of the region, utilized an already ancient structure as their new temples' foundations. The practice of building new temples on top of the ruins of a previous people's holy site is not uncommon. The site probably already held some sacred significance, and it would have made sense to use pre-built foundations, instead of going to the cost and effort of making new ones. However, it was the discovery of three enormous stones in the temple's western retaining wall that has sparked the debate. Raised 20 feet above ground level, can be found three giant blocks of cut stone, measuring 70 feet long, 14 feet high, and 10 feet thick, with each stone weighing about 800 tons. To put that into perspective, each stone weighs about the same as two Boeing 747s, yet using ancient tools and technology, the stones were somehow cut and then transported from a nearby quarry, before being raised 20 feet into the air, 
and then placed together with such precision that, according to the site's curator, it's impossible to insert a needle between them. Even for accomplished temple builders like the Romans, such a feat seems incredible. However, some have pointed to the possibility that these massive stones may have been part of the older ruins from long before the Romans arrived. Yet, based on everything we know about the technology of the ancient world, the presence of these massive blocks should simply not be possible. In search of answers, excavators began exploring the nearby quarry, but their efforts only added to the mystery. Lying unused and buried were two even larger stone blocks, one weighing 1,000 tons, the other 1,200. Even with modern technology, moving these massive stones would be an enormous task, yet whoever cut these stones obviously intended to use them, but either due to flaws in the stone, or some other unknown reason, they never made it out of the quarry. The presence of the pre-Roman ruins that the Templars built upon, combined with these enormous stones, which seem to be beyond the capabilities of what we know about Roman technology, has led some to suggest that they were placed there by an older, unknown civilization, using lost technology that was far superior to the Romans, Greeks, and other civilizations that came after. Who really built the original site? What was it used for? And how did they move these unbelievably massive stones with supposedly primitive technology? The mystery and debate continues to this day. Number 3. Gosek Circle While local surveyors were examining aerial photographs of the small German town of Gosek, they noticed unusually large circular ridges underneath an otherwise normal wheat field, which prompted an excavation of the site which made a remarkable discovery. The sleepy town of Gosek was home to the remains of an ancient ruin, which radiocarbon dating put at an incredible 7,000 years old. The massive structure is around 220 feet in diameter, and originally contained two circular wooden fences, surrounded by a narrow ditch. While at first glance the site might appear basic and primitive, it became more intriguing when excavators analysed the alignment of the structure's gates. The circles contained three gateways which were aligned in such a way that if you stood at the centre of the structure during the winter solstice, you would be able to see the sun rise through the southeastern gate before later setting through the southwestern gate, the two entrances perfectly in line with the sun's movements on this one particular day. If this wasn't incredible enough, two smaller gaps were also found in the walls, which faced the precise positions of the sunrise and sunset during the summer solstice. Such precision means that the positions of these gateways and gaps was no coincidence. They were placed there intentionally by people who were well aware of how the movement of the sun through the sky changed throughout the year with special attention paid to the winter solstice, which marked the shortest day of the year, and the summer solstice, which marked the longest day of the year, essentially making the site the world's oldest known solar observatory. While the beliefs of the people who built these circles is completely unknown, the sun frequently played a huge role in the beliefs of ancient people, seen as the giver of life and changer of seasons, and was frequently directly worshipped. Yet such sophistication in plotting the sun's movements is at odds with the widespread view of the farmers of Neolithic Central Europe, who were generally portrayed as unsophisticated and even downright savage, but this remarkable monument proves that they were accurately charting the heavens far earlier than was thought, the site even being thousands of years older than the Egyptian pyramids. Similar circular enclosures have been found throughout Central Europe, but Gosek is the oldest and best preserved, Yet the mystery surrounding how the circles were built, and what they were used for, continues to baffle archaeologists. It was originally thought that they might have been forts, however the lack of any buildings inside the walls, along with the numerous gaps, have led to this theory falling out of favour. Others believe that it was used as some kind of solar observatory, a possibility reinforced by the fact that the site is located on the same latitude as Stonehenge, with both sites on just one of two latitudes in the world, where the full moon passes directly overhead on its maximum zenith, a fact which is unlikely to be a coincidence, and points towards a strong link with astronomy. Another theory proposes that the structure told ancient farmers in the area when to begin the countdown to spring, and therefore the best time to plant their crops. However, excavators also made a more disturbing discovery, which casts doubt on some of these more innocent theories. The remains of ritual fires, animal and human bones, and even a headless skeleton found near the southeastern gate have led to a darker theory about the structure's purpose. These findings point towards the circle not only being used for gazing at the heavens, but perhaps also for human sacrifice or some kind of burial ritual, practices which were far from uncommon during ancient times. 
The mystery deepens when excavators discovered that the site was built 7,000 years ago, used for just 200 years, and then completely abandoned. Such a feat of construction would have required great effort and expertise, so why would the people who built it go to all this trouble, only to use it for a mere two centuries before abandoning it to nature? The structure contains no sign of fire or destruction, which points to it being abandoned for some other unknown reason. In 2005, the mysterious site was completely reconstructed from scratch by locals, and now serves as a popular tourist destination and prominent reminder that ancient people clearly knew far more than they are often given credit for. Number 2. Nan Madol Nestled in a lagoon just off the coast of a tiny island in Micronesia, lay the incredible yet highly mysterious ruins of Nan Madol, a sprawling complex of artificial man-made islands linked by an ancient network of canals, which has led to the site being given the unofficial name of the Venice of the Pacific. 92 of these islands are spread over 200 acres of shallow water, and the site is believed to be the only ancient city ever to have been built upon a coral reef. Stone and coral platforms serve as the foundations, on top of which walled enclosures are built, which reach up to 15 metres high and 5 metres thick. It's estimated that an incredible 800,000 tonnes of building materials were used to construct the site, with some of the individual boulders used weighing up to 50 tonnes each. Exactly how the city was constructed has baffled researchers, and the site is a prime example of the genius of ancient engineering. Yet despite the incredible skill and effort that went into the city's construction, no written records exist detailing when or how it was built, and by whom. Excavations of the site have revealed that it may have been in use as long as 2000 years ago, with construction beginning as early as 500 AD before it was finally abandoned after being conquered. But the time periods remain highly disputed, with some suggesting that the site may be far older. It seems as though this incredible city of islands was probably used as the seat of power for the ruling chief, with different islands serving different purposes, with some being residential, others being for food preparation, and some even being tombs. Yet just why the city's builders went to all the effort of constructing the city in this somewhat impractical way, when perfectly usable solid land is nearby, is unknown especially when you consider that all of the city's food and water would have had to have been brought in from outside, making the inhabitants completely reliant on people living elsewhere. Some point to religious or ceremonial reasons for the building of the man-made islands, while others suggest that it could have been a way for the rich and powerful to isolate themselves from the common people, and some stories even speak of the ruling chief using the city's isolated position as a way of controlling potential rivals by ordering them to live in the city instead of in their hometowns so that their activities could be closely monitored, making this incredible complex something akin to an elaborate prison. The mystery grows even more puzzling when we consider where the massive stones came from and just how they were transported to the building site. There are possible quarries nearby, but transporting the giant 50-ton stones to the lagoon and then raising them off the floor to build this marvel of architecture without the use of pulleys, levers or even metal has left modern observers scratching their heads, trying to come up with possible answers. The leading theory is that they were floated on rafts, however researchers have been unable to replicate this method due to the enormous weight of the stones used. The city is even more impressive when you consider that the local population is estimated to have been no more than 30,000 at the time it was built, requiring an enormous level of effort from each person to cut and transport the 800,000 tons of materials that were used in the construction. How could so few people have found the spare time to build such an impressive city, all without the aid of modern tools? In fact, the job seems so daunting and impossible that, according to local legend, the city was built using black magic to levitate the massive stones into place with the help of flying dragons and even giants, yet the site was somehow built with the mortal hands of a highly skilled and knowledgeable people. Number 1. Gobekli Tepe Located in southeast Turkey, Gobekli Tepe was first discovered in the 1960s, however the large limestone slabs found embedded in the earth were dismissed as being nothing more than simple grave markers, and so the site lay largely forgotten until an excavation carried out in 1996 made an incredible discovery which has caused us to rethink everything we thought we knew about ancient humans, including their knowledge, capabilities and technology. Simply put, the site should not exist. The excavation revealed that the limestone slabs were actually the top part of enormous T-shaped pillars 
which were arranged into circular groups, ranging between 10 and 30 meters in diameter, and carbon dating indicated that they were at least an incredible 11,000 years old, meaning they predate even Stonehenge by a massive 6,000 years, and as such are the oldest man-made monuments on the planet. Over 200 of these giant ancient pillars have been found so far, grouped into 20 different circles, of which just four circles have been unearthed. However, there could be even more hidden beneath the soil, as a mere 5% of the total site has been excavated so far. The pillars can reach as high as 20 feet tall, weighing up to 20 tons, and according to everything we thought we knew about human society 11,000 years ago, such a feat of engineering should simply not have been possible. During this period of history, people supposedly hadn't even developed agriculture, metal tools, pottery, writing, or even the wheel, yet they were somehow able to cut and shape the enormous stones from a nearby quarry, transport them hundreds of feet to the site without wheels or domesticated animals, and then not only erect the pillars, but also exquisitely carve them with depictions of animals, including foxes, lions, and snakes. At the time of the site's construction, Human beings were thought to live as small groups of nomadic hunter-gatherers, barely capable of constructing a small hut, yet the existence of Gobekli Tepe demonstrates that humans were able to organize and come together in larger numbers than previously thought possible, as well as build using methods which we thought to have only been developed thousands of years later. Yet the site's discovery raises more questions than it answers. Exactly how the site was built, and what it was used for remains a mystery, However, possible theories are that it was used as a temple, some kind of holy site, or even as an observatory. Its elevated location suggests that it might have been a place of pilgrimage and worship, yet this height combined with astronomical alignments of the stones suggests that it could have been used as a place to observe the stars. Still, the exact purpose of the rings of T-shaped pillars, or the meaning behind the intricate carvings which cover them, is likely to have been lost due to the huge time spans involved. Yet, this site's mystery doesn't end there. Different layers beneath the earth suggest that as time passed, earlier rings of pillars would be buried and new ones constructed. Yet, it unusually seems as though the builder's skills and abilities were actually deteriorating with time, instead of improving as you might expect. The older rings of pillars are bigger and more technically and artistically sophisticated, but as the centuries passed, the pillars grew smaller, less detailed, and more sloppily constructed. Eventually the site seems to have been completely abandoned altogether, yet instead of leaving the pillars exposed, for some reason the people here chose to bury the complex under as much as 500 cubic meters of earth and waste, which included stone tools as well as animal bones and even human bones, a task which in itself would have required a huge effort. Why the site was abandoned and buried is unknown, but the very existence of this unbelievably old complex leads us to wonder just what else these ancient people were capable of. What knowledge did they possess, and what else might have been built thousands of years ago, just waiting to be rediscovered somewhere beneath the earth? So those are my choices for five mysterious ancient ruins that remain unexplained, but what do you think? Are any of these sites evidence of unknown ancient civilizations, or can they all be explained with what we already know about the past? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you again on the next video.